Why don't I just fold? Live looking for a queen. Meanwhile, it is all kicking off at the secondary feature table, kings versus queens. Oh no, sick cooler alert. Maria Lampropoulou was the original raiser. Livbury re-raised. And now, Maria, who is a commanding favorite, has to decide how to respond to Liv's three bet. That is a four bet on its way. She re-raises to 200,000. My guess is, much like Thelma and Louise, neither of these ladies is getting away. An intense stare from Liv Barry, studying her opponent. All in. She moves all in. And Lampropoulou calls. And there is an 80% chance that Liv Barry is going to bust in 17th place. Very, very sick cooler. Oh. Why don't I just fold? You know, everyone's going to think that, but Maria's very aggressive. Not sure how you can. An ace, jack, jack, flop. Two outs for Liv Barry. She needs a queen on the river to survive. It's another ace. Good luck, everyone. Livbury is out in 17th place. KO'd by Maria Lampropoulou. She does not seem to be taking much enjoyment out of it. Liv Cash is for just shy of $50,000. Uh, I'm just so mad at myself because I knew it. I, I chose the worst of the three options. Obviously, the best option is fold. The second best option is call. And the worst option is to go all in when your read is outstrong on someone. And I chose that one. And I should know better than that. There were enough signs telegraphed at me that I should, and I, I didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, that's the game. And I just, oh, I just felt this one, you know? Here we have the ace of Jack. It's a pretty solid hand in the cutoff. However, Lou has almost no chips. So he has to be all in here with his 11 big blind stack. That is a great play. It's the only option he has. He could conceivably min-raise, but I think once you get down below about 14 big blinds, you probably just want to be going all in or folding from late position. And here, he's going to be in trouble. Foosh says he remembers Ike Haxton playing in the storm. I was actually at that final table. I ended up taking fifth place in that one. And they had to have tape placed on the table for you to stick your cards underneath it because the cards would blow right off the table. It's the Mo Show. Lou all in for 27,900. Schwab comes back over the top, jams it in. Let's see if anybody else is... Oh, my word, look at this from Vicharek. Pocket Kings, and he's come back over the top. All the money's going in. Three red triangles. Carnage at the feature table. We might be about to lose Mo. In fact, it's looking very, very likely. What a rough spot to be in. No one saw this coming. We all thought Mo was going to march on there and Vicharek out of nowhere produces the Kings. Mo, my God, what has happened? <clears throat> and you just need to sweat, uh, breathe. <laughs> you breathe or you'll pass out. Sucker punch for our Forrester. Mode Destroyer could well become the destroyee here. Ace, ace, king. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, Still has 19% to have all the money. It's not so bad. If he can somehow 
get himself out of this and win this hand, he will become an insta legend. The flop comes 10 high. There is a back door straight. Let's do that. There are those three aces. It is not looking good for Zhi Zhang Lu. Vicharek is almost there. It is down to three aces for Mo Schwab. Lu knows he's already done. He's getting his coat. <laughs> And that is all the final king comes down on the river and we have lost Mo the Destroyer. Fantastic run. He made it all the way, almost to the top 100. Lampropolis under the gun with aces. Boy, aggressive player under the gr gun, two aces. Every player still the act behind. What a dream. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is obviously the best, the only... It's going to be really tough for her to get paid because um, she's under the gun and all the other stacks are kind of looking at each other. But then again, you know, if somebody finds King Queen again and just thinks, oh, there we go, yeah. go Maria again. I mean, you know, nobody's folding a pair of 10s, so that, that's a very, uh, that could happen as well. All right, we're left with only the blinds. Christian Rudolph with pocket jacks. Bring out the stretcher. Yeah, this is so brutal for him. Oh my God, he floods. He just calls. Oh, Aldemir folds the big. It's 500, 800, 900, 1.4. Uh, Sorry, I just want to see how many chips I'm going to have at the end of this hand. Yeah. Uh, that's a and bad flop. Lampropolis flops an unnecessary set of aces. <laughs> Such a bad flop for her. Rudolph cannot win this hand outright. He has a 1% chance of a chop. <laughs> but that may, that's going to make it very difficult for her to get paid. She checks. Seven always coming. It is always coming seven. How do you feel about that sevens guy? <laughs> Every time he sees a seven, he's just going to assume somebody has a set. <laughs> he checks again. We can see a check behind here, huh? Yeah, it's really hard for him to connect that low on the board. Like, you don't really have to worry about giving a five, six, or a deuce away. Like, this shouldn't really be a scare card. I think he's folding sixes from the small you, blind. So. You don't expect him in the small blind to be flatting with anything that really yeah. is trouble on this board. Not a lot of deuces in there. Not too many sixes. Like you said, pocket sixes sometimes, but even then. Yeah, even that's pretty unlikely. But now this is Lampropolis' last chance to go for value. I kind of like, I mean, the ace 3 4 is a board so many like pairs can call on. I kind of would have liked a small bet on the flop and then a check on the turn. But I mean, it but you can so understand strong. why yeah. she would just check this all the way. Yeah, just going over different options, you know. She's going to go for something big here. Go for a little polarizing deception. Uh, yeah, she goes almost full pot. Those green chips are worth 25K each. The gray one is a hundo. The old white Russian. God, white Russian is such a good drink. That's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> Calmer to you are. And it looks like this bet's having the desired result. Rudolph a little perplexed. 
He has a really strong hand as well. That's such a smart bet sizing. If she bets, you know, if she bets 200,000, it's a much easier fold for him. This is so smart. It feels so weak to just flat breed, check, 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 check. And then fold. just ditch it, yeah. Uh, what are you doing? It's Jax. Buffalo Biscuit on Twitch says he's going to fold easy to see. Ricago says just can't call. Piranha Bait says, dude, don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> I think what is very important for him to realize here is if she does have a hand like Queen 10, why wouldn't she bet the flop? Why so big? Why so big? Lex will tell you, bigger is better. Wow, he makes the call. And he sees the bad news. That's I had an idea. That's always nice to get everybody's opinion on the hand.